hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to create dynamic tree view in odoo version 15 so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials so in this video what we will be doing is that we will be showing you how to create a dynamic tree view so upon hearing dynamic tree view you might think what is that tree view so what i'll do is that i'll go to the crm module so here you can see we have crm installed and if i switch to the list view this is the list view you can see that is tree view in the url you can see view type equal to list so at the right side of the screen here you can see here we have opportunity field email field phone next activity deadline and at the last you have a three dots here so what happens if you click on these three dots and the same will not be find inside our appointment tree view so if i go to the hospital then to the appointments tree view this is the tree view we don't have that three dots over here also if you go to the patient's tree you won't see that three dots but here we have a three dots and if you click on that a list of fields is listed and if you tick that the field will be added to the list view so if i select customer you can see it get appeared and if i select it disappeared and you can see on selecting it will get added to the list view even if you refresh it will be staying over there and if you need to remove you can come back here and you can untick so you can see this is the dynamic tree view that i am talking about so let's see how we can do that so this is very simple what you have to do is that at least for one field in the tree view you have to add one optional attribute so what i'll do is that we will be making the appointments tree view as a dynamic tree view so first of all we have to get its external id so you can see the id is view hospital appointment tree so i'll take the corresponding tree in pycharm so here you can see this is the tree view that i'm talking about so we are going to make this tree as a dynamic one so at first of all for that three dots to be appear so you can see to that three dots to be appear for at least one field in the view you have to add this attribute optional show or hide you can have to put either you can put optional show or you can put optional hide so right now i'll give optional equal to show so for at least one field you have to add this attribute then that three dots will be appear so let's see so i have added optional show for booking date and what I'll do, I'll just upgrade OM hospital module. So you can see the module has been upgraded. And if I come to the appointments list view, you can see the three dots has been appeared because for one field, that is for at least one field, you have to add this attribute. So the three dots will be up here. So let's see what happens if I click on that. So you can see booking date so booking date so i'm say, telling that field is optional one and by default i have set as show that's why it's ticked and if user field we don't need to see the booking date in the list view they can untick from here so it won't show again so even if you refresh you can see it won't show and when user need to see that he will select it from here similarly what i'll do we have a lots of field in appointment form so here you can see we have ref gender etc so i'll copy these fields and let me add those fields in the list view so i'll add those fields to the list view and i will put optional equal to hide so once you add optional equal to hide by default it will be hidden and if you need to see you can select the three dots and tick so i have added booking date as optional show and rough and newly added rough and gender as optional hide 
so let's go to the ui and let's upgrade so i'll tick the booking date as true so you can see booking date is appearing now and if you go to the apps menu and let's see the difference so before upgrading i'll keep one rough as show then only you will understand so i have added rough as show and gender as height and let's upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module has been upgraded now if i come to the appointments you can see reference is coming by default because we have set optional show optional show means by default it will be coming as ticked and you can see gender is coming as unticked because we have given optional hide and if you user need to make it visible you can click on here so you can see we have made this tree as dynamic and now user can control by clicking over here so this is how you can create a dynamic tree view in odoo for at least one field you have to add optional equal to show or hide so once you give optional show by default it will be visible and you can untick to make it hidden and once you set optional hide it will be hidden by default and you can tick it to make it visible so i hope you understood about optional show and optional hide and if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by liking sharing and commenting so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you